What's good YouTube? I am back with another reaction video and we got Larry Bird Athletic. It's like a mini bio. Now I think this video uh, is like a biography of him. Uh, this seems new. I've never seen this before so let's get straight into the video y'all. We ain't gonna waste no time. We straight into it. I know y'all like for me to get straight to the action. But yeah, this is like an official... Um, I just seen it and I just saved it so I don't know what this is but let's see. Let's see if they're giving out the right information. When you think about Larry Bird and basketball, you think about a guy who made the most of the talent that he had. Just worked his tail off, fought and scratched and did whatever he could to make his game better. Born on December 7, 1956, Larry Joe Bird grew up one of six children in a poor working class family. Larry's experience growing up poor in French Lake, Indiana, corresponded very closely to the way a lot of black athletes grew up. Larry wanted to get away from what he was, even though he deeply respected his roots and everything. And I think that was a real motivation, this kind of clawing out of this nowhere hole of French Lake, Indiana. Indiana University coach Bobby Knight offered Bird a scholarship, but Bird was overwhelmed by the size of the university and dropped out in the first month. When Larry went to Indiana, he had not seen any of the world. He got to Bloomington, Indiana. It might as well have been Tokyo. It was just too much for this small kid from Indiana. Bird chose to attend and play ball for the smaller Indiana State University. By his senior year, he led his team to the NCAA championships where he faced off against his future rival, Irvin Magic Johnson. I actually broadcast one of his games at Indiana State. Red Auerbach, who had drafted him for the Boston Celtics, was sitting next to me, and his mouth just dropped. Everyone knew that Bird could score whenever he wanted. It was his passing. Auerbach just couldn't believe there was such a passer like that. That's what made him so special, his ability to pass, to see the court, the entire court, and hit the open man. Bird joined the Celtics in 1979. And in his first season, he led the team in scoring, rebounding, and minutes played. Nicknamed the Hick from French Lick, he was voted NBA Rookie of the Year. Larry Bird was one of those people that turned around a franchise right away. Very few people in the history of sports had had that profound of an effect. With the Celtics, what he was doing was restoring a tradition that had been rich in the 50s and 60s. They had gone downhill. Larry Bird shows up in 1979. It's like they were right back to the dominant Celtics of the 50s and 60s. In the early 80s, NBA game attendance was in decline. But with Bird leading the Celtics and Magic Johnson heading the Lakers, their on-court rivalry helped to rejuvenate interest in professional basketball. The rivalry between Magic Johnson and Larry Bird was unparalleled really in sports history because they had played against each other in college in a championship game. Whenever they played, there was an aura of a championship fight and that made the NBA a real prominent league in the 1980s. One was on the West Coast, one was on the East Coast. One was black, one was white. One ran the court and smiled, the other played a half-court game and frowned. You had these two complete opposites that year after year competed for the NBA championship. That was as irresistible a two-person storyline that has ever come along in American sports. Over his 13 seasons in the NBA, Bird, alongside teammates center Robert Parrish and power forward Kevin McHale, would lead the Celtics to the playoffs 12 times winning the championship you forgot about DJ stop it three times I don't think anyone could sense teamwork as well as Larry Bird he at all times while he was playing knew where all of his teammates were he knew what the opposition was going to do I think he saw the game in slow motion Bird was voted all-star 12 times 
and was named the NBA's most valuable player in three consecutive seasons. I think what made Larry special as a player was that he was perceived as someone who did not have a lot of physical gifts. He couldn't jump, but he got 11 or 12 rebounds a game. He wasn't fast, but he got up and down the court almost as well as anybody. So there was almost a kind of magic to his being able to accomplish what he did. In 1992, Bird, along with Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan, formed the American men's basketball dream team and took home the gold medal in the Olympic Games in Barcelona. For Larry Bird, he'd accomplished so much on college level in the NBA. The dream team in 92 really was a great final chapter. The fact that they had him on that team made that team a part of, of history. Immediately after the Olympics, Bird announced his retirement from the NBA, and the Boston Celtics hung up his jersey, number 33. Bird has remained active in basketball as an executive and head coach. In 1997, he returned to his home state of Indiana and led the Pacers to a franchise best record. He was named NBA Coach of the Year in 1998, and later that year, he was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Larry Bird would probably tell you he wasn't the greatest athlete on the basketball court, but he worked so hard. I think Larry Bird's ultimate legacy would be someone who was able to achieve so much that if you know the game, if you're a competitor, if you work on making yourself better, that you can rise to a level that few people in the game can ever hope to achieve. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. How did I find that video, y'all? That was a good one right there, man. On See, when you do your search on YouTube, man, you can find a lot of good stuff. That was a good video, man. I don't even know how. I got to find out more of this that site and see what other stuff they got covered. But that was a good one right there, man. That was a good video. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Um, on to the next video. Wow, that was just like, I'm just like amazed right now how good that video was. I don't, I don't even know how I found it. I just clicked on it. I seen it and I just saved it. And I said, you know what? Let me just go right into it. React to this video. See what it's about. I don't know what I was getting myself into. That's how all my videos are. But yeah, like Larry Bird is a beast, man. People just got to wake up to see that he is a beast, y'all. He just, y'all just, people just got to wake up to it, like. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't force nobody to like anybody, but it's just like, come on. I think if you really take your time like I did and really do his videos and really look into him, you'll you'll change your mind. I'm pretty sure nine times out of ten, people would change their mind. And also, shout out to the Nuggets and shout out to Jokic. Um, he definitely just got his first chip, even though some people are still trying to say that. Uh, they're trying to say that he didn't really have no competition like the his run was easy i mean at the end of the day nothing in the nba is easy i don't care what i don't care if the team can have a losing record and they still make the playoffs it ain't you're gonna always have to fight no matter what you gotta fight at anything you do but uh yeah he's still not better than light bird i don't care what nobody say just because he got a one chip that don't mean nothing I mean, it means something but he's that's not gonna put him up to top oh yeah he's better than light bird this and that no but i definitely had to uh keep that and say that because a lot of people try to say that oh Jokic is better Jokic is like no man I'm sorry Jokic still got a long way to go um yeah but uh that's about it man subscribe if you're new hit that like button turn on that bell man I just wanted to chit chat with y'all man I try to chit chat a little bit more you know not too much in the video but like after the video I think that's the best thing to do but i also try to keep it short and sweet and also i'm definitely gonna have a lot more video i know i used to consistently have like three videos i'm definitely gonna start getting back into that it's just that i've been slacking on a lot of rest and just been so tired like i actually just woke up not too long ago from trying to take a rest because i I'm mean, only getting a few hours of sleep the other day. Got like two hours of sleep. So definitely bear with me, y'all. It's been draining, but I'm going to still keep pushing. going to still keep working. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. I'm on to the next video. Got some videos you want me to do. Leave them down in the comments down below. And I'll send them to my email at And also, I am uh, got a second channel called Debt Fully Boy and I Reacts. I definitely will be promoting it on this channel. So that channel really covers just like 
all different kind of things. Because I know a lot of y'all on this channel like Larry Bird and some people be hitting me up like, oh, why are you just doing Larry Bird and this and that and stuff like that. And I'm also going to start making votes to see what videos y'all want me to do with different players. So let's see what y'all think. But uh, yeah, that's another reason why I made the second channel. And also just trying to grow more too, man. Just trying to like, I know I can't please everybody in the world, but I try my best to give everybody what they want. So that's another reason why I made a second channel. Cause I'm just uh, got all different kind of things. Like I did Jordan, I did Magic Johnson, I did Sean Kemp. But yeah, go check out my second channel, That Fully Boy Now Reacts. It's the same as this channel, same name, but at the end it's just Reacts, R E A C T S. But uh, yeah, that's about it, man. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace. Yeah.